Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Last week in the Static Electric Shock episode, we discussed static electricity, specifically how a static electric charge is created when certain substances are rubbed together. When they are rubbed together, electrons, tiny negatively charged subatomic particles, are transferred from one substance to another. The substance that lost electrons develops a positive charge, and the substance that gained electrons develops a negative charge. But during our experiment to see the effects of static charge, a few questions came up. Wait, I understand that the static electricity causes the cereal to move, but how does the cereal move? Yeah, and why is my hair sticking to the balloon? Remember that when rubbed together, one of the substances being rubbed becomes positively charged and the other becomes negatively charged. There's a basic rule in science when it comes to charges. Opposites attract, likes repel. So when a positive and a negative charge come close together, they attract. Basically, the electrons want to go back to the way they were. But when a positive and a positive, or a negative and a negative come close together, they repel or push away from each other. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. So let's explore the idea that opposites attract. To do this, you'll either need your own hair or a willing volunteer. So take an inflated balloon, rub it against your or your volunteer's hair, and move it away. You'll notice that the hair follows the balloon. When you rub a balloon against hair, electrons from the hair move onto the balloon. So the hair gets a positive charge and the balloon gets a negative charge. Positive and negative attract each other, so the hair follows the balloon. So this is why my hair sometimes stick to the comb? Exactly. Running a plastic comb through your hair is just like rubbing a balloon against the hair. Both of them will pull electrons from the hair, causing the hair to be attracted to the balloon or the comb. It's the same reason why your laundry sticks together if you don't use an anti-static sheet in the dryer. Stop it! <gasps> like I said, Willing volunteer. Next time we explore how like charges repel. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>